Okay, now we're going to look at the way PHP can use the data object that comes from a subform. We will use that to populate all those days that you can see there. So it still uses all the data that comes from that subform whenever it gets saved so that it can then populate those days there. So now the place that we do this is after the record's been saved. So we need to go to the after save part of our procedures. <clears throat> now you can see here that we have an update statement that we're going to run that actually sets all the days of the month back to zero. So we run that and then we've got this here which I should have showed you earlier we'll go up a little bit and the same function name that we used in JavaScript we have a similar function for PHP so we're going to loop through all of these rows and update the day of the month wherever there's someone staffing that day so that's how we can use this data object with PHP So it's available on the server side and the client side.